Hi, I'm Matthew Drutt and this is Eye on Art. In this week's segment, we're going to take a look at some drawings exhibitions around the city of Manhattan. The Drawing Center, since its inception in 1977, is one of the premier addresses in the country to look at drawing and all of its extensions. They've recently reopened after a year-long renovation of its spaces in Worcester Street in Soho, and they have three outstanding exhibitions on view. We'll take a focused look at one of them. Ignacio Uriarte is a Berlin-based artist who originally studied for a career in business. Uh, he abandoned that career uh, and gave himself over to art, but his work deals with the aesthetics of the office, the aesthetics of business, in the language of abstraction. This is his first solo museum exhibition in the North America, uh, and it really sweeps across the scope of his work where he's either using the tools of the workplace to make drawings, like the piece behind me, uh, which is made using an old typewriter dragging the pages through the, the carriage to create this kind of abstract wavy line or some of the other works in the exhibition which take the rhythms of the office place or some of the elements that one finds in an office supply closet and turns them into the language of abstraction. It's a really creative take on abstract drawing and the idea of referencing the real world in an abstract idiom. We're looking at an exhibition of works by Yindrich Stierski at Ubu Gallery on New York's Upper East Side. And this small exhibition entitled Dreams Doesn't Disappoint. It focuses on Stierski's involvement with surrealism from the 20s, 30s, and 40s. He was Czech, but closely aligned with the Parisian avant-garde. And he recorded his dreams periodically in images, either in writing, and then would revisit them, sort of reinvestigate the imagery from those dreams using drawings, photo collage, so it's really in the spirit of the way in which the avant-garde artists worked at the time, creating original material, finding material in popular culture, and incorporating that into an original work. They're sometimes violent, sometimes sexual, sometimes both, often kind of obtuse and very specific and fantastic looking. And this exhibition really provides a nice cogent exploration of Stierski's work in all media, in collage, in drawing, as well as in publication. There's a nice selection of his published works on display. Nancy Spiro was one of the preeminent artists of her generation. Uh, she was a New York-based artist, a dedicated feminist and war activist whose works explored uh, themes of women's suffering during war, uh, political upheaval, uh, and in society in general. Gallery La Long in Chelsea is celebrating her career, which ended with her untimely death in 2009, with an exhibition entitled From Victimage to Liberation, works from the 1980s to 1990s. It focuses on Nancy Spiro's drawings, which were her real primary form of expression. And her works have a range from a kind of collage-like, poster-like quality to things more like the work behind me from the 1990s, which have a freeze-like, almost timeless quality. Characters cascade across this expanse that reminds one of a frieze or an Egyptian wall painting, bringing them into a contemporary idiom.